Hi guys, hope you're staying home. So of course you know about COVID-19 and an effort to beat it. So I wanted to do this really quick episode about these things called ear savers. So if you know surgical and other masks, they usually, you put them like this on your ears and medical professionals who wear them all day, obviously they have problem because it's very uncomfortable. I mean, I was wearing this for like 20 minutes to go to the store and my ears were falling off. So I can imagine somebody's wearing them whole day is how it's gonna feel. So makers are making these things. And this is what I wanted to discuss. I wanna show you how to make them and where to get the materials for them. So stay tuned. My name is Len and you're watching Made in Basement. So there are several designs of these ear savers. Uh, I've seen the small ones uh, which look like an S. I've seen the big ones. I think the big ones are better because, I mean, it depends on the mask. This obviously has pretty short loops, so the bigger this thing, the better. So this can be 3D printed or laser cut. I, I prefer laser cutting because I just don't have patience for 3D printing. The design is free online. I found this. I did not design this one. But where you get the material? That, that's the problem. Um, you need some kind of thin plastic that can be laser cut, that can be strong and flexible. Somebody suggested these cutting mats. They actually sold in the Dollar Tree store and they cost a dollar for two pieces, which is, I think is a steal. So my main concern was, uh, are they uh, safe to laser cut? So usually materials containing uh, PVC uh, not laser, laser safe because when they cut they re release chlorine gas and it's deadly and also destroys your uh, equipment. Uh, also polycarbonate is no good for laser. I mean it's probably not gonna kill you but it smells horrible and doesn't cut very well. I did some flame tests. So basically flame tests is when you take the wire, uh, you heat it up and you put piece of the material and then you burn it and see the color of the flame. PVC usually gives off uh, kind of a um, yellow, super like bluish color, I think. So anyway, I tested this thing and it was fine. I did not uh, feel sick. I, the flame was, I mean, good color. Obviously, um, please do not hold me responsible if this thing kills you. I don't know what it's made of, honestly. I have no idea. I suspect it's some kind of polypropylene or something like that. I mean, it's food grade. So this thing cuts great. I mean, not great, it cuts well when it's thin. You don't get clean edges, but you don't need clean edges for these. But it's pretty easy to cut on your laser. So you see I made a whole bunch here. And uh, my settings for my 60 watt laser was uh, 60 millimeters per second at 50% power. And this is pretty fast. Um, so the one cut these give off uh, very, very like uh, white smoke. It looks like vapor almost, which is doesn't smell like anything. I, I mean, I don't feel the smell, but so I don't know what's in it. Um, so use it at your own risk. So anyway, let me show you how I did my flame test and how I laser cut these things. All right, we're going to test this uh, chopping mat from Dollar Tree and also this placement mat also from Dollar Tree I don't know what they made of uh, they only had I heard that this one works but they only had one so I'll try them both I'm gonna do a um, burn test with my uh, propane uh, burner so let's see how it goes So I'm using a piece of copper wire. They are pretty thin, flexible. So let's cut a small piece from the corner. It's red hot. Perfect, now we're gonna take the piece and melt it onto the wire. Let's see what color it burns. yellow, so that looks promising. Now let's 
try this one. Again, I'm gonna cut a small piece. Turn. All right, first of all, let's, uh, I never cut this material, so let's see what settings it needs. So I'm going to focus it first. I'm using 2.5 inch lens, and this is a 60 watt uh, laser machine. Let's try 50% power and 50% speed, I mean 50 millimeter per second speed, so. Anyway, I was off, but it did seem to kind of melt it. It has no smell. Interesting. So I think settings are... Uh, we need to slow speed down. So maybe six... Uh, let's try 70... 70, 70 millimeters per second. Let's see how that works. So I'm doing 70 millimeters per second, 50% power, which is 30 watts. And let's go. Kind of melts it. And it melts it back. I don't know. 60 millimeters per second. Because I want to cut them as fast as possible. Let's do this. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so I think 60 millimeters per second at 50% works. All right, so file is loaded and let's do this. Okay, they're lifting up. Lifting up, and I, I need more uh, air, I think. Let's see how we did. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Um, seems to be strong. So I will test it now on the mask I have. Yeah, looks good. And finally, let's try this one. Bit over because it's a little bit. Let's see how it works. Same settings 60 50. And let's go. I don't smell anything. It didn't cut. It didn't cut that great. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. Frame is good. Let's cut. A lot of smoke. So a little bit, you know, it's fine, it comes out, it's kind of funky, like a camo color, and it's strong. I don't think I can break it with my, oh, yeah, actually I can break it, but still, I think it's, maybe I need to make it a little bit thicker, yeah, because I can break it with my hands, yeah, maybe not the best material, 